Hello guys, welcome to HMD production. Today I'm going to teach you about shadow and light effect. First of all, we take this photo, go to image, adjustment, auto contrast, adjustment levels, darken a little bit, darken over here, and over here just a little bit not too much then i'm going to show you right now a cool trick called curve put the point in the middle replace two point on each half pull this one to the up to highlight the light pull this one down to highlight the shadows this way you have depth more contrast means more depth Close. Okay. Now for the next step, very quick, I'm going to do highlight the car. We're going to play around with the background. Now, very fast, we go to the other poly polygonal uh, select. <laughs> I don't polygon select. We click on less and just try to take out the lighten area. Keep the dark sele area selected. Okay, now we go to select, inverse, image, brightness and contrast, less the contrast, minus 35, this is good. We don't want too grainy brightness. That's real good. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the same tool and right about the third corner in the picture, you can select whatever you want. Make a quick selection, drag, drag. If you want more, we're just gonna add more space over here. So what you're going to do is go to 5 feather image, you go to exposure, exposure high and you select the high exposure. So it's look like one side is shadowed one side is actually brightened so we click OK Control D
we're going to create the same effect on the car so we're going to click a new layer we're going to select right over here go here we select i already measured the color very bright color we cut right over here okay city Soft light, hard light. We choose hard light. Here you can see the sun glow effect. We want that glow. So we click over here. We just want to clear out some of the area over here, so we just select. Okay, that's look nice. Look like the sun, but we want to brighten this area more. So click white, create a new layer, go over here, it's kind of stroke, a couple of stroke over here to give it that shine that we want. It's like a snow, right? But it's the glare or shine, as we see the shine effects Keep, make her more realistic. Linear lights. Overlay So we're going to shorten the size a little bit Gonna use the same tool over here and take out the part unwanted.
I'm going to click one white spot over here. I'm going to hide these two layers and I go back to selecting the car Image. Levels we highlight. Okay, control D. Now we're going to use dodge tool to create a little bit of contrast on the other side burn Go to Burn Tool, Dodge Tool, And this is, guys, the end of our tutorial. This is how you create shadow and light effect. One last step I want to add. I want to add some light over here.
So now it's fixed. So this will be the end of our tutorial, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. See you on the next time.